Oh, Queen Twish, please excuse me. It is me, your royal nurse Tunisian's wife, and I come humbly before you and all the other nutters to let you know that I accept the position as royal nurse, and I will do my very best to make sure that you and all the other nutters stay as happy and as healthy as possible. I feel that I'm very well qualified for the job. I have 20 years nursing experience. Did I mention that the last four I've spent in adult mental health? That could prove to come in quite handy. I also have a lot of experience in orthopedics. And should any little nutter fall from a ladder while they're around the palace trying to make sure that the place is spick and span and sparkling clean, I assure you that I will make sure that they are wrapped very tightly. Here, let me show you my bandaging skills. Well, the good news is I'm happy to report that every little nutter at this very moment is wrapped very tightly. So the royal veterinarian was nice enough to let me borrow nutter peanuts so I could demonstrate just how well I can wrap a bandage. A royal veterinarian. I have been very busy behind the scenes because I've got an announcement to make. The infirmary is officially now open for business. Yes, that's right. The royal photographer was nice enough to snap this picture of the outside of the infirmary. And I can assure you that all the royal painters have been very busy putting the last coat of paint on the inside of the infirmary. We offer state-of-the-art equipment. Nothing is too good for a nutter. Now we all know that a healthy body can lead to a healthy mind. So to ensure a healthy body, I wanted to incorporate a fitness center into the Royal Infirmary. Come let's have a look. Follow me. Well here we are in the state of the art fitness center designed to meet every single nutter's needs. We're open 24 hours a day. Why you might ask? Well I observed a lot of nutters running around in the Royal Garden late into the hours of the night thrusting and pumping and riding, and I figured they might as well have a place to do it right here. And besides that, I don't like to tattle, but the royal gardener was not getting his work done. He was too busy gawking. Oh, oh, I'm very sorry. This area is off limits. This is where the royal pharmacy is located. We do carry every single medication to help ease all of your aches and pains. And for those of you that are thinking of maybe helping yourself to a few Lortabs or Percocets or Vicodins, chance. And to save the very best for last, I'm standing right outside the royal suite. This is reserved for you, Queen Twish, because nothing is too good for you. Although the general ward is very lovely, as you can see, nothing is too good for our queen or the occasional foreign dignitary. Because one never knows when the dear queen is going to get a hold of too much brandy. Come inside and let me show you your royal suite awaits. Now, Queen Twish, I do say that I hope you never have occasion to use the royal suite. But in case you ever have to nurse a hangover, your queen-size sleigh bed awaits you. And no royal suite would be complete without the royal commode. Yes, that's right. A bathroom is only a few footsteps away. Here, let me show you. Nothing is too good for you, Queen Twish. Yes, that's right. This is the deluxe model known as the royal flush. Always remember to put the lid down when you're finished. So there you have it, the royal tour of the infirmary. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to lie down and take a nap. I've been working very hard, you know, and there's nobody using this royal suite. Thank you, Queen Twish. To you and all the other nutters, I hope that I can honorably serve you as your royal nurse. <laughs>